Okay, well, so we just learned how to sequence a couple of actions together. We just have two basic actions here of moving 50 steps and turning 45 degrees. Um, we want to come back to this idea that I, that I talked about before, about that you are the director of a play or of a movie or something like that. And if you think about what a director does, right, the director tells the, the actors what it is that he's going to want the, the actor or actress to do. And he gives the actor or actress the commands, and then the, the director steps back and she says, okay, places everybody and action. Right? And we want to have sort of that idea, that ability here with Scratch. Right? This idea of coming over here and just clicking on, on blocks of code to run things seems a little bit strange. And so we want to have this global way of starting the action of my sequence. And that's a special kind of event. And so I'm going to come over to a different colored menu here called Events. And again, ignore most of these. We're going to start at the very top here. We're going to start with this block. That, that in Scratch is called a hat-shaped block. It's a hat-shaped block because if you look at it, it looks sort of like a baseball cap sideways, right? Here's the, the top of the hat and here's the bill of the hat. And you'll see that it says, when the green flag is clicked. And this is corresponding to this green flag up here at the start, at the top of my stage. And this is my start command, right? It's my, you know, the, the waving the green flag like in NASCAR. Uh, it'd be the way I would say to the, my actors, ready and action. And it's the way that I can coordinate commands between multiple actors. And I realize we don't have multiple actors on the stage yet, but that's the way we do that. And so I'm going to put that on the, in, there, in my script and then join up my block. And you'll notice that the hat top block doesn't have, uh, you can't put things on top of it, right? So a lot of these blocks that we've been working with, they have a notch, which means that stuff can come uh, in front of them. They have a tab, which means that stuff can come after them, and we can join all those together. You'll notice the hat top block, block doesn't have a, an, an input at the top. It can only be the start of something. And so this says that when I press the flag, I want you to move 50 steps and turn 45 degrees, right? And so we can keep pressing the green flag here. And this really isn't much different at this point than what I was just doing, uh, where I was you know, double clicking on all of this. But, but over time, you're going to start to see why this is a, a helpful command. Now that we've introduced the green flag block, the block that allows you to define a, a formal program so that you don't have to start a program by either double clicking or single clicking, on the blocks of code, it's time to start learning how to do some really basic tasks. And so in the next lesson, we're going to give you a task to complete on your own.